Hello everyone, welcome to Crazy Geeks and it's me Rosen Sresta. Today we'll be talking about how to make diamond pattern in C programming. At first we'll be trying to make this particular upper part of the diamond pattern then we'll be writing the remaining stuff as well and eventually we'll be able to generate this particular pattern. Let's begin the process. In order to generate the diamond pattern I'll be opting for nested for loop. Uh, you can try with any of the available loops. I'll be beginning the process now. INJ are declared as integer numbers. Now for a uh, i equals zero, that is going to be the initialization. I is less than or equals eight. That is, this loop will be activated from zero up to eight. And the incrementation update is being carried out using I++, which stands for I equals I plus 1. Now I'll be writing inner loop, which will be something like beginning from 0, moving up to Z is less than or equals 8 minus I. And update is going to be Z++. Now let's try to print the value of Z, which is an integer number. That's why percent is D and Z. Now after each and every complete execution of inner loop, let's introduce line break slash n. Uh, now let's try to dissect what's going on within these particular loops. Your initial value of i equals zero. Zero is less than or equals eight. So test condition is satisfied. So the program flow will enter here within inner loop. It will begin from 0 up to 8 minus i, current value of i equals 0. 8 minus 0 is standing for 8. So this will display 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 8. Soon after reaching the value of 9, which is not less than or equals 8, the program flow will come outside of this block and there is new line feed so cursor will be moved to next line now i is being incremented from 0 to 1 1 is less than or equals 8 again this condition is being satisfied so now it will enter inner loop and will begin the process from 0 up to 8 minus 1 that is 0 to 7 now the output is going to be 0 1 2 3 4 up to 7 let's build and run this particular application cool this part resembles one side of the diamond this side so we are on track now let's populate some more stuffs i'll be writing another loop for that i am declaring variable k now for k equals 0, k is less than or equals i and k plus plus. I'll be populating the printf with character asterisk. Uh, feel free to use any of the characters as per your requirement. I'm using asterisk for presenting the diamond using asterisks. Now what will happen here is initially i equals 0, 0 is less than 8, test condition is satisfied, your output will be 0 up to 8. Now on this part, k will begin from 0 up to current value of i which is 0, 0 up to 0, that is there will be one asterisk, this one asterisk. Now on next part, there is new line feed cursor, cursor will be moved to next line then new value of i equals 1 1 is less than 8 again from 0 up to 8 minus 1 7 0 to 7 current value of i is 1 0 to 1 there will be presence of two asterisks and so on uh, 0 to 1 two asterisks right uh, let's try to build and run this particular application Awesome. Up to this point, we have successfully built the upper part of the diamond pattern. Now our task will be to invert this particular shape. 
whose concatenation will provide us the complete diamond pattern for that I'll be copying this block and placing it here now the major task will be to invert this particular logic this particular logic provides one asterisk at the top but we'll be needing eight asterisk here for that what we can do is I'll begin the value of i from 8 now we can reverse the condition by writing something like i is greater than or equal 0 now we need to decrement the value of i the effect of this is going to be something like value of i is 8 8 is greater than 0 this condition is satisfied now here from 0 to it there will be presence of eight asterisks and on next run there is going to be seven from zero up to seven uh, now let's build and run awesome this is what appears like the diamond pattern and just to be clear uh, when we copied and pasted this particular block only thing we have changed here is this particular outermost for loop all other inner loops are left as it is earlier in the case now let's build and run this is our output now I don't need to display this particular values I've displayed it just for the demonstration purpose so that you guys will be able to understand the basic working mechanism now I'll be removing it and presenting normal white space now let's build and run this is clear we have to carry out the similar process on lower part as well now let's compile and run awesome this is what appears like the diamond pattern okay guys uh, this is how we make diamond pattern using C programming uh, this is the implementation of nested for loop this is our outermost loop and these are our inner loops here uh, this particular loop is being used for presenting white space and major contents are being placed here uh, you can try uh, displaying the contents as well something like value of z let's say what will happen build and run you will be presented with numeric values here similarly you can play around with by changing it into value of i there will be variation in value of i which will be presented as part of the diamond uh, you can carry out as per your uh, requirement I really hope uh, this one was really helpful for understanding of how diamond problem that is uh, how diamond patterns are being created using C programming I'll be catching you guys in next video with some more interesting stuffs before signing out do not forget to like share and subscribe crazy geeks have a good time ahead thank you very much